Oh, first of all, thank you. It uh, uh, never occurred to me that it is so interesting to listen to you talking about cheese. So that, that's great. Thank you for, for, for sharing that with us. Um, now we're for a round of questions. I, I can imagine there are a lot of questions in the, in the, in the room. Uh, the first one uh, already was uh, given to me uh, out of the audience, um, uh, just to warm it up. Uh, do you get a free Spotify um, as an employee? That's the most asked question. Everybody <laughs> asks that. From A-B testing is the most asked question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Out of big data, it's the most, uh, mostly asked question. Um, yes, I do, but there's a but there. Um, we used to, not, when I started Spotify, people at Spotify did not get free Spotify. And that was because if the, the, the thinking was if, if employees at Spotify do not want to pay for Spotify, Spotify is not good enough, um, which is also a b another word for dog fooding. Um, but then when we grew, uh, when I started, Spotify was relatively small. Um, now we're a mid-sized company. And now Spotify employees are an interesting test base. So we have about, we're about 1,700 people right now, which is an interesting group where you can <coughs> test, uh, test features with. And um, but that means that, s that we have to give our employees broken versions um, because stuff breaks. Like n the only thing that is, that, um, uh, only code that works is Hello World. But I can talk about that for hours too. Anyway, um, so y we, 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 want, we need to give employees broken versions, but therefore we say, okay, then you get your Spotify for free. Well, I don't know who asked that question, but okay. Um, I have a question over here in the front. Yeah, wait for the microphone. Yeah. Hi. Uh, what happened to the plugins? Was it also a result of the uh, A/B uh, testing? Oh, you mean the apps that we had? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't work. Uh, it wasn't used that much. Uh, so, yeah, at, at a given point, you need to take your losses and say, okay, this is not worth maintaining the infrastructure that supports all this. So, nobody uses it. Let's kill it. So uh, obviously you have a lot of data going on, but how do you determine what data is relevant? So I mean, to give you an example, how do you determine uh, if someone is actually listening to a song or just clicking it? Like what is relevant? Yeah, uh, well what is relevant really depends on what you want to do with the data. Uh, what you think is relevant within, say, the analysis that you want to do or uh, within the recommendations you want to give, but to, to, to your um, your more concrete question, um, we can see how long you have played a track. Um, and for us, um, if, if you play a song less than 15 or 30 seconds, we do not count. Depending on what use case it's used for, um, it's just like we do not take that into account because that's either a preview or, uh, yeah, you just like skip, skip. Uh, in certain cases, it's very relevant b when you skip because so for record labels, we can say, okay, these songs are previews, we're not going to pay for them. Um, in the case of, say, your Discover Weekly playlist that we make for you, to determine the quality of that playlist, the more you skip in that playlist, we can sort of correlate that, or that might be that your playlist of, is of low quality. And the same goes for radio. So if you go, oh, no, this, this, I don't want this track, I don't want this track, I don't want this track, then we can see, um, yeah, we can sort of determine the quality and have to do something. Okay. Yeah. Do you know a number that's based on data from Spotify? A music number. Uh, do you know a music number that's based on Spotify data? Question. No, I I don't. Well, not something that we have published on at Spotify. What we do, however, is uh, twice a year we have a Hack Week, where um, all employees and not only tech people and geeks um, code, but we just the whole company. People at marketing they hack. Uh, they do hacks and it could be processed or whatever. But um, at Hack Week, uh, we ha I had a colleague who, who sort of created a synthesizer out of the data that we, uh, that we stream, which sounded horrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you said something about your own cows, um, but do you also use data from other sources? Uh, um, like, for example, you, s you said uh, something about Whitney Houston. Uh, do you process the news, for example? Now, in, in the case of Whitney Houston, we, we, we didn't. We just see how many people play, which is our own data. Uh, but in other, uh, in other cases, we do. So um, we, not 
too long ago, a few years ago, we bought a company, uh, the Echo Nest, and they do the audio analysis of, of the actual audio, uh, which I did not talk about the, today because um, it's a whole different field. But um, it's real cool technology, but what they also do is um, they ingest a lot of, they crawl Wikipedia and, and sites like that to determine the relationships between artists. So for us, it's very important to figure out what relationships between artists and tracks are. So the more signals we can get, the better. So in, in certain cases, it's, um, it's partnerships with CDDB or CD, uh, uh, a bunch of those sites, or um, crawling the web, things like that. So yes. Well, I asked. Uh, I should ask the, the question about the, um, the the content of the song and the analyzing of the uh, song itself. But you already told right. that it's not about. The yeah. That's something that we initially didn't do, and then we bought we bought a company that had that technology, and we we uh, now we use that because from that audio signal you can see the we can determine the genre of the of the track. We can uh, see the tempo. We can see the what key it was played in. We can see the timbre and the dynamics in the in the in the track. So with that information can look at, you can match that with other tracks um, we use it for um, I don't know if you know the beat the running part in Spotify uh, we do beat matching based on the BPM in a, in a track and that that's something that we have to analyze okay thank you there was a question over there at the table yeah, actually I've, uh, I've been thinking about your prime customers are uh, the listeners the people who listen to the music but how about the other group so are the, the artists and event organizers can they be informed by your services, or is there any new business to inform them, predict uh, the success of artists, or predict the success of events? Absolutely. Um, and that's sort of the, the Jay-Z example that I gave. Um, that is a very typical thing that we do with, in relationship with the artist. Um, most, of, most of that stuff goes through the labels because we deal with record labels. If we have to deal with every artist that are out there, then we would be a record label, and then, yeah, that would be really awkward. Um, but, um, yeah, so we work very closely with, with record labels. Um, the Daft Punk example for, uh, is also together with us. Like, how are we gonna set that up? Uh, can we look at how these type of uh, marketing campaigns worked in the past? Can we repeat them? Um, yeah, there's tons of stuff that we do, and we have a whole special division within Spotify called Artist Services that work with artists and, and labels. Okay, thank you. Other question over here? Yeah, you've been talking about see your year in music. Uh, is that only about 2015, or do you also have data gathered from when I started listening to Spotify? No, we, that is data from 2015, because crunching data uh, over 2015 already takes a lot of work, or yeah, a lot of cows. Um, and um, we do compare that with the results from last year. So there are a few parts where we say you have, um, you've played, I had like 2,300 different tracks or 2,400, and that was like 400 more than last year. Uh, but there were, we compare that with the aggregate, so that we don't like recompute everything. But um, technically we could, but it's more like, okay, value, cost, it's always a... Well, uh, I had a slightly different question, I think. Um, I see, uh, when I hear all the three uh, keynote speakers saying that big data is the next thing, you said it's very important, gives us a lot of information. I'm not a, a IT, I'm on, on the other side of the market, actually. Um, my question was more, we see a lot of students here, IT students. What is uh, big data giving them for their future, like jobs per perspectives? Because um, from a lot of... Uh, indeed uh, did a research uh, this year and it shows that uh, big data and data analysis are like uh, top things that uh, job seekers are looking for so what is your perspective on that for spotify and maybe other speakers or you can answer that question as well um, i think i definitely think it's a it's a great career opportunity but yeah i i have that career so it's good. <laughs> uh, it's fun. It's a lot of fun to do, um, but um, there's. I think we're we're just in sort of the um, like I don't know. Again, a Dutch expression: chil children's shoes. Um, like I think we're really at the at the beginning of of this thing um, that was sparked by by the internet. Like this has never been done before. So it's very hard to predict what's going to happen, but like if you see uh, the volumes of data across the internet and, and um, 
are, are increasing exponentially, then there is there's definitely um, a big market ahead of us uh, that will not just all of a sudden die because, like, data is everywhere, right? Like um, the fact that this is going to be streamed live. I recently bought a, a light bulb with Wi-Fi in it. Um, the sensors everywhere. There's stuff that we measure, uh, and that will only increase because it it enhances uh, people's lives, or, or yeah, depends on what your what your definition of enhances is. But um, so I, I think that trend will continue, and um, because there's so many unknowns in this space, uh, there's there's a lot of work to be done for analysts, data scientists, uh, um, yeah, things like that. Okay. I got a signal that this was the last question for now for out on stage, but I hope you join us uh, uh, for drinks later it's on. So here, right? uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, so we can ask uh, more questions. For now, thank you very much. Please give him another big hand. <laughs> and, uh,